afternoon folks, uh, it's just gone 20 to 6 and you can uh, hear by the pitter patter on the top of the brolly. It's absolutely teeming it down, it's been raining non-stop uh, since when I got up this morning to go to work about 8 o'clock. It's relentless, um, but the good news is I've got a smile on my face and so is my mate to the left of me who's out of shot at the moment. These are conditions we absolutely adore. It's, uh, we haven't done the old uh, reading yet with the app on the camera, uh, sorry, on the uh, mobile phone. Uh, but I should say it's around about the 18, 19 degree mark. He's just having a look on his uh, phone now. Oh, there's a bit of a sigh there, so I'm a well out, mate. 14. You got mate? More like 14. 14. Oh, <laughs> I was getting a bit excited then, but it ain't cold, that's what I'm trying to say. No. But uh, the conditions are absolutely sock on. Um, Itching to get down here today, a bit later than normal, but we're down here. So, uh, with the limited time that we have every week available, a rod in the waters after battle. So, uh, usual tactics uh, Mark's on the fizz and he's uh, field testing the purple fizz for the second session. And I'm on my usual kipper tippers and the CM1. Gotta be honest, it was a bit tricky to knock the PVA the little sticks that I use with the chopped boiling, but I managed to get them out there. Uh, and I've, we're on the same swim where we fished last week, but I've moved down one. The reason being is I'm fishing um, the old margin swim and uh, spot rather, to my right. And from where I normally fish it, uh, there's quite a bit of line from obviously the tip of the rod to uh, the rig. So by moving down one, obviously I'm going to connect with the fish uh, a lot quicker. Well, that's the theory anyway. So we've got a choddy on that, uh, with a good two or three handfuls of chopped CM1 bullies. Uh, the previous sessions we've done this season, I've been a bit liberal, and so has Mark, with the um, with the free offerings, more like peppering, but tonight we're, uh, well certainly on my margin spot, I'm having a go, I've stuck real, two or three really good handfuls in. So uh, it's nice and quiet down there, uh, so hopefully something's going to come down and have a munch. I caught from there last week, a bit further off from where I've Put the rod tonight. Uh, I've literally put it really, really tight to uh, an overhanging bush. It looks well carpy, uh, and as I say, it's really quiet down there. So um, that looks good. Whether it's going to produce, only time will tell. But um, my mate's uh, having a good scout over the water, and he's getting drenched. But you don't care, do you, mate? <laughs> a lot of fish in the middle of the lake there. Well, access it from there, but uh, there's a lot moving. Even though it's quite cold. Yeah. So hopefully uh, I'll get rid of and we'll nail one. I don't know if you heard that from where Mark was uh, standing and talking. He said that he can spot fish at range, uh, which has been pretty much the norm the last uh, three or four sessions under the surface. Yeah, definitely. So uh, we'll keep an eye on that one. But as yet, I haven't spotted anything where we're fishing, mate. Have you? Oh, and just as I say that, he's pointing out. They, they, they seem to be moving slightly closer, to be fair. I can see probably 10 fish now just under the surface, but I don't know. Just with the backs out, the backs just nipping it out. So. That's encouraging, mate. They do seem to be coming down. Well, we've always, always got the zig in our armoury, so if that continues and uh, the bottom bait rods don't produce, uh, you know, it's an option. But uh, I'd just like to add before I uh, continue with this opening blog piece, I was gutted that I had a bit of a malfunction last week with the camera uh, and that 28 pounder that I caught. Uh, lined the camera up, got myself focused in, went back to retrieve the fish, come back, and because I saw the picture on, um, I thought I got the fish in and I was recording, but when I got home, sadly I realised I hadn't, but uh, I got a still, so not the, uh, the be on end all. But, um, anyway, we're going to indulge in the first brew of the session, so uh, smack on quarter to six. Uh, we'll keep you updated through the duration of the session, folks, and uh, we'll catch you later. There you go, mate. It's a nice start. Just put it on the scales. £18.12, was it, Mark? Yep, on the nail. On the fizz? Yep. Proper, proper old warrior, this one, mate. It took you all over the lake, didn't it? It really did. Pumped all the margin spots. Uh, just for the purpose of the viewers, it's 27 minutes past six, so, uh, and the rain stopped. Yeah, just about. Conditions are looking absolutely gorgeous. The fish are moving down, mate. Yeah, they're definitely coming closer. So it's all coming good? Yeah. Really and uh, no doubt you're itching to get that rod back on the spot? Definitely are, mate. So we're going to get a still. 
and uh, get fishing again. Just under 19, fantastic. Great start, mate. Weather situation, we've got a uh, nice sunshine now. The rain's departed, uh, which I'm sad to say because myself and Mark are big fans of the rain. But anyway, we're having a chat in the swim, like you do. And the sun peered out. Yeah. Uh, Carpy chat, talking about this, that and the other. Middle rod's pulled up and it's gone again. And Well, I'm on a right. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah, I'm on a right. Uh, what's the word? Big fish. Well, no, the, the look I'm having at the moment, everything's yeah. just falling into place, into place rather. The, the new bait, I, I just, I'm going to stop rambling on. I'm just trying to get my bearings. Uh, the arms are like jelly, so I've had a mirror. It's a peach. And I'm going to show you, folks. We only get a limited time, myself and Mark, you know, with the uh, hectic lifestyle and work and what have you. And uh, just to be here and do it is just a pleasure, but to catch is an added bonus and to catch fish like this. And with the last um, Fantastic, few weeks, a few hours has been more than enough for us. It has, not it? And tonight has probably been the latest we've started for a long time. Yeah. We didn't get fish until about half half 20 to 6. And look at the stamp of that, mate. What a lake. I mean, anyhow. We better get some size is irrelevant when they look like this, isn't it? Exactly. We better get some stills and get it back. Brilliant, mate. Just been done on the left hander. Having a brew. Bottom pulled up. Pulled. As I say, just been done, I think. Oh, it might have been a liner. Um, Mark's got another one. He's just caught that one about 10 minutes ago. Another one on the purple fish. So that's uh, two fish in two sessions. Uh, We'll try and get some uh, footage of that one, um, but it's uh, cracking on now. The time is into the session, so he's obviously got the rod out. We've got it in the retainer sling, so as I say, we'll try and get it on the camera. But if not, uh, so be it. Um, so yeah, turned out to be an absolute epic session again uh, for myself, Matt. Absolutely delighted. Uh, that big mirror was just an absolute peach of a fish. Uh, real nice starburst scales near the tail. Uh, the bait's working brilliant, you know, the rig, getting to grips with the new water, absolutely fantastic, I just, dream session, absolute dream start uh, to the um, campaign, so uh, that's about it really, um, I hope we've made this enjoyable for you again, you've enjoyed watching it, uh, and for myself Matt and Mark, once again, top lines, happy angling. I'm going to see you in the next uh, episode of the Broly Blog. Cheers, folks.